Right, so welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame 2 slash Project Zero 2 in Mevopix Inferno 91. And I am not looking forward to this bit because I haven't fought a mourner in about three months. And I cannot remember how to fight them. I just remember it's basically blind woman, but eight of her. <laughs> and I know that it's like, they come in like groups of two. It's a quite a long passageway. This this passageway is probably going to take up the most of this episode. Oh yay, it's, it begins! <laughs> Where are you? See, I'm not, gonna, I'm not very good at fighting these ghosts either. I never was. So uh, this is going to be interesting. See if I can... Re oh, is that the second one? That is the second one. I told you they come in groups of two. And to prove how long this is going to take. I'm trying to get them to group together. Because then we could get this done a lot faster. I gotta fight at least some of them, haven't I? Oh, they've like Siamese twinned again. Like that happened at the beginning of the game. <laughs> Might as well use up my type 60 now and um, become visible. Hey! Double shot. Nice! I feel like they'll stay like that and this will make my life so much easier. Move away from that horrific scene! <laughs> That was horrible. Are they still twinned up there? Doesn't look like it. Looks like one face. Oh no, there's two again. Ooh. Do you use blast? No, keep away, keep away. Because they'll do that weird arm flaily thing. Okay, this is a lot easier than blinded because she was a horrible bitch. I never really understood how to fight blind woman. How did that not kill her? She used blast. Don't even think about what you're gonna do next. Don't even think about doing that. Have at me then. Have it. I dare you. Where's the other guy? Did I get them both? No, because I'm fairly certain that there's. Oh, I did. <laughs> Better than I thought. Okay, so that's two mourners down, six to go. Mm hmm. I think the, that was the last save point. I don't know whether you can get back out once you've come back in, come in here as well. So, uh, which way do I go? Is this it? Ooh, I knew one way to be a shiny. Yes, yes, I got a stone mirror. Yes, I did. Now where are the next two? <laughs> I'm getting far too excited about these little bits of item. Now I know you'll be around here somewhere. I'm making my life a misery and a living hell. I remember the first time I played this game, I just could not beat the Kusabi, which I keep saying is the final boss battle and ruining that surprise for you all. I know you're there because I saw the thing light up red, but um, I kept dying and having to start at the top of this passageway again to fight the mourners all again and I just <laughs> ran past them all, got really pissed off at the end and just started running past all the mourners I've probably run out of type 61 by the time I get to the bottom of this passageway as well switch up to type 90 because I use zero for the kusabi you're gonna do anything I say they usually come in groups of two, so I don't know where the second one's gone. Well, let's just wait for him to flail, and I'm plenty of distance away from him from to carry on doing his flailing. I guess that's just the trick to the mourners, just to keep your distance once they once you're taking the picture of them. I'm talking very quietly. <laughs> I just noticed this when I looked at Audacity. Like I take this just one at a time. Try and lure them out one at a time rather than two at a time. Because that wasn't very pleasant, to be honest. Because I don't really like fighting the mourners. They're like one of my least favourite enemies in the game. That should be enough, surely. Great. Yeah, I really like fighting the Veiled Priests the most. They're really fun. But I think it's just because their fatal frames are a lot easier to um, detect and kind of uh, get the vibe for. I suppose these guys have got like one really easy pattern, but um, I don't know, I still don't really like these guys very much. Now where are you? If 
I try and remember what the mourners even are. Aren't they like people who they like they sewn their eyes shut so they didn't look into the blank? Essentially what it was. How do I change No. That's the one. Because we want blast on, but we want zero on for the final boss battle. It uses four spirit points, but it'd be like super effective. Super effective. Okay, now let's keep our distance. There should be plenty of distance between me and the mourner for him to do his flailing. Okay, so we've got three mourners down. This is mourner number four, isn't it? And then we have another four after this. This is going to be an interesting episode, guys. This is literally an episode. We're not going to have to do a lot of thinking. And we can talk. We can talk. Let's talk about life. So recently, I don't know when I'm going to upload this video, but this Monday I quit my job. I did work for Sony Place, well not for Sony PlayStation, I worked for a, a contacts call centre group company who were hired by Sony. So I was one of those people you phone up to say that, oh my PlayStation's broke, how to fix it? <laughs> and my answer was, I don't know! because. Uh, I'm very shit at this job, apparently. No, I wasn't shit. I did a good job. I really did a good job. I tried really, really hard, but the hours were, like, really, like, not what I was looking for. I've just moved, and I don't really want to be working 40 hours a week. 50, including travel. So I was like, oh, fuck this shit. I was miserable. The last two days before I left as well, I think I didn't, I didn't eat. I had, like, a quarter of a pizza and, like, a sandwich or something like that. Something daft. St oh, waffles, that was it. I had two, some waffles. Is that shiny? No, it's just the way the light's shining. And if you're just making me miserable, you know, life's too short to be miserable, so if you don't like what you're doing, then don't do it. So, I quit. They had an incentive going as well for the first month, is that the person who had the best targets and the best call performance got a PlayStation 4 with a year's subscription to PlayStation Plus and a game. They didn't specify what the game was, but... Um, yeah, I got to a point where I didn't even care about the PlayStation 4 anymore, I just kind of wanted to be at home. <laughs> This bit's really nice. I could just sit and be quiet in here if it wasn't for the mourners. There's a blue apparently as well. What the heck is going on? I don't really want to look in there if I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Fail Kusabi. How much do I- how much type 61 do I have left? 21. That's not going to be enough to fight all these mourners. Urgh! That's a terrible, terrible angle game. Like, why? Especially when you know you're going to fight like another four mourners down here. I mean, I don't understand the point. Just keep trying to use blast, I think, is going to be the, the main option that I'm going to use now. And continue not to think. Yeah, the incentive was really good though, the PlayStation 4. Like, when we did our training, it was pretty intense and pretty long three week training on how to, like, the basic working and function of the PlayStation and the PlayStation Network and stuff like that. And we had PlayStations to use and, like, just to familiarize ourselves with the product. They say. <laughs> so we spent a lot of our free time with um, playing the PlayStation 4. PlayStation 4 is a really sexy machine. I've said this a lot, there's not many objects that I find physically attractive, but the PlayStation 4 and the Wii U gamepad are like, really like the two most attractive inanimate objects in the world. <laughs> True story. Oh shit, there's another mourner, okay. I wondered why the, the circle kept focusing on the left. I'm guessing I didn't do any damage to him now. I just have to wait it out. Look to your right. That's the... There we go. So I've done a bit of blast there. Keep out of his way over our damn long arms. Man! Don't talk to me about long arms. Actually, no, I didn't like fighting long arms in the first game. And in the first game, the battles, the, the combat system, we probably talked about this before, was a, a lot more flawed. This is a more refined version. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure... Yeah, I've talked about this before as well. I'm not about. I reckon this game is better than the third one, but I haven't played the third one for a long time, and I can't remember my impression of that game. I just remember thinking this one was better. And you know, I'll probably still think that. 
I did start playing. Oh, do you know what? I'm just repeating myself because I say it. I start to say something and I realised I probably already said it before. Or I said I was going to practice playing Fatal Frame 3 and then uh, do a let's play of it. But uh, the controls are like a lot different. So I have to like stop and wait till I finish this one basically. I'm stuck on a wall and he's flailing at me. I suppose I don't have to really worry too much about him flailing at me next time because this will be his his demise. I'm doing really well fighting these mourners. I'm doing really well. Have at it. I'm just waiting for you to do your little head turn. Unless you decide to do something different for no reason. Oh my god, I'll, I'll just stand there and be like a prick. Oh! Oh, he's done something different. That's amazing. Okay, we took a hit. <laughs> the fuck off me. Get the fuck off me, like. I'm going dead scouse. Fucking mourners. If I don't live pool. Watching the footy. Scousers. You lot made me laugh. <laughs> Cause I'm originally from uh, very close to Liverpool. My hometown is in Lancashire, just outside Liverpool. So I've grown up around a lot of Scousers. You're a cob lot. <laughs> you are, you're a cob lot. That mourner just vanished. What the fuck just happened then? <laughs> I was talking about how scouts are a cob lot. And then the, the mourner vanished. I'm not complaining about that shit. That's six mourners down. There should only be two left. <laughs> Even if you did want to vanish on me. Thank you. You did me a favour. But you're not doing me a favour, Mr. Terrible Angle. Ooh. Ooh, Hello. No, I'm not looking at the fucking cave in, I'm looking at the time nighty. I remember trying to pick that up last time and I had like four mourners running after me. <laughs> that didn't end very well. I think I used up my stone mirror running away from them. Okay, you're coming upstairs. I think the bottom of the stairs is uh, the end of this journey. We've been very frank, we've had a lot of heart to hearts. We talked about my job, why I quit. I mean, this is end of March now. I don't know when this is going to get uploaded though. At the moment I've only uploaded 10, 10 parts, 11 parts of this, and this is part 24, 25? I wonder if I just run away again he'll just disappear. Not like we need the points. Part of me just wants to kind of run around him anyway, but... <laughs> I like having these discussions with you guys about life. <laughs> yeah, I'm not living at home anymore. Moved away, I'm in a grown up world with grown up things. <laughs> Looking for grown up jobs. <laughs> that aren't 40 hours a week. 50 including travel. I have a degree in zoology, I should be working at the zoo. But now there's no vacancies available, and even then, they're really competitive jobs at zoos. How about talk about the game? <laughs> How about attack me? How about do something other than that? Whoopsie-daisy! Woohoo! Teasing you now, Mr. Mourner. I'm teasing you. If I stand still, what happens? Is he gonna get confused, or is he just gonna stand there too? I suppose when you walk, then, he's trying to follow your footsteps. I'm just trying to glean information. Ooh, I walked through some fire then, and that did nothing at all. <laughs> God, even the trousers are freaky. I'm just gonna stand still, I'm gonna be brave and see what happens. I'm gonna blast again. Oh shit, no, I should have saved it up for the- oh, it's a fucking kusabi. Right, so if my calculations are correct, there should be one more mourner, and I'm not gonna use blast on him, I'm going to charge up my spirit points thing. And then from that, we will be able to use Blast on Kusabi 
beat his ass. I think that's the problem I had with the Kusabi when I first fought him, is I didn't realise he had all these lens functions. I think I was just being a stoop. Oh, he's behind me! Whoa! Well, that didn't freak me out at all. <laughs> I did not expect that. Imagine if you if I'd walked any further down the stairs, I would have had one in front and one behind. That would have been some unpleasant shit. Oh my god, do something! Not that. <laughs> okay, so he's got some blast going on here. I don't know what happens when I reach the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> Oh, how long the staircase is? It's like that Super Mario 64 staircase all over again. You know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna do a nice job charging this up, so it's a fully all charge now, but I might as well just use a normal shot in the next shot rather than blast. And hiccup! Mid sentence. My god, it's cold. Okay, that's you done. That's eight mourners. Seven beaten, one disappeared. So we can carry on forward. To ooh. Look in there, there's like stuff in there. I kinda wanna look in there. Kinda don't. Oh! Oh, that's under under the Osaka house, isn't it? I know where I am. Get in my bearings. Oh yeah. What? What? You're telling me you couldn't climb over that wall? Shut up, bitch. I had to fight that guy and get the key. You finally come for me. <sighs> you finally come. We can be one. I knew you would come for me. I kept waiting and waiting. I don't I just oh she's still talking. <laughs> the ritual to shrine me. Oh, I know where I am. Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't know. How much film do I have left? I don't know why I'm trying to... Nine. I, I'm not going to use Type 61 on the Kusabi, so I don't know why I'm even trying to bother. Yeah, I didn't speak then because I kind of just wanted you to, to be able to hear their voices and nice things. <laughs> So these are actually two separate entries in the spirit list, I do believe. Aha, uh -huh, if you remember how to control the game. So you gotta try and get it so one in each, I guess. Eternal ritual? So I managed to get one in that shot. I don't know I don't know whether you can do it separate and then okay, there's the second one. Eternal ritual. Is this burning? An eternal flame. This place is really pretty. This is like such a pretty place. Oh, sigh. Yes, sigh, actually. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is stop this episode here, at the top of this stairs. So next time on Let's Play Fail Frame 2 slash Project Zero 2, we're going down those stairs and we're going to fight a Kusabi. So I'll see you then, guys. Goodbye.